Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Unique Tutorials. Today in this video, I will show you how to monitor CPU temperature and get alert on overheating in Android smartphones or tablets. So without further more delay, let's begin. So firstly, just open the Play Store and now just search for one application name as CPU Monitor and on the first list you will see the application. Just click on it. Now click on install to install this application. So once the installation is done, just click on open. On opening, you will see the CPU temperature of my Android smartphone as you can see here and the uses here and below you will see more options here like system, battery, hardware and screens and below you will see here cleanable. So right now there is nothing to clean up and now on the right top corner you will see your settings icon just click on it. Now here you will see one option overwriting alarm so you can enable it. Now by default the 45 degree centigrade is being selected so you can click on it and you can set your respective CPU temperature degree Celsius say in my case it's 50 and click on OK. Now I've set it to 50 and you can change the battery temperature also here and minimum variable intervals you can select it and you can use the Fahrenheit option also instead of degree centigrade. So these are the options you're gonna get inside this application and if you want a plotting widget then you can just click on this plotting widget and you can select the respective widgets that you want to set and set the CPU temperature. Click on OK. Now click on the CPU monitor. Click on allow display over other apps. Move back and once again enable the CPU temperature. Now we'll see here a floating widget is showing up above. So you can enable the CPU uses widgets also, CPU uses percentage, CPU uses curve, system monitor, battery temperature, battery level, and memory informations. So by using this application named as CPU Monitor, you can easily monitor CPU temperature and get alert on overheating in Android smartphones or tablets very easily. So if you never known about this cool application, then you should definitely give it a try. So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching